Hi, my name is Margaret Okape. I'm from Nigeria, uh, but I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Toronto in Canada, and I study astronomy and astrophysics. For my research, I study the epoch of reionization. This is a phase of the universe that happened shortly after the Big Bang. Uh, the universe used to be a lot hotter and denser than it is today, but as the universe continued to expand and cool, uh, the very first atoms could form. And with time, as more and more of these atoms were forming, they were able to clump together. And when these clumps became very dense inside of them, they started to fuse hydrogen into helium. And we say that the first stars were formed. Uh, these stars were very big and very bright. And they were giving off all of this ionizing radiation. And this radiation caused the universe to transition from a cloudy, non-transparent universe to a transparent universe we see today. And my research focuses on understanding how that transition took place and also to understand some of the physical properties of those very first stars, uh, especially how big they were and how efficient they were in causing the reionization of the universe. Um, I'm very grateful to be awarded and recognized for this award for the DKG uh, award and to know that my research and my contributions to science education is, is being acknowledged. And this further reinforces my desire to pave the path for young Africans in STEM disciplines. I've I enjoyed the community of the DKG and I am empowered to know that there are so many uh, women like me that uh, are causing a change in the environment. And I'm very glad that my, my work in this regard has been, has been recognized so far. Thank you all for the opportunity to meet with all of you and to talk about uh, my research and uh, the other things that I do in outreach uh, to empower the young African women. Thank you.